we regularly come across the term human rights in our daily life either as part of the textbooks news discussions debates and agitations in order to understand how these human rights affect us in our daily lives and also to acknowledge our responsibilities in recognizing the need to balance such human rights with the rights of others all of us require an understanding of what human rights are human rights are basic to humanity they are inherent to all human beings regardless of race sex nationality ethnicity language religion or any other status these are fundamental and inalienable rights essential for life as human beings the human rights law lays down obligations on the state to act in certain ways or to refrain from certain acts in order to promote and to protect human rights further owing to the transnational nature of the human rights there is a universal and international court for protection of human rights which is accepted by all the nations therefore for a wholesome understanding it is also essential to understand the framework of international law also called law of nations the international law is a body of rules established by custom or treaty and recognized by nations as binding in their relations with other countries international law deals with the various concepts of state recognition state responsibility state succession nationality extradition asylum and diplomacy so on and so forth it also governs the law of the sea the law of air and outer space acquisition and loss of territory and other related aspects the united nations organization the international court of justice are the significant international bodies upholding international law this course would help the viewers comprehend the various stakeholders and authorities under international law with respect to its application and implementation in the international arena peace always does not prevail and conflicts between nations are a harsh reality war and conflict have been a periodic but persistent feature of human history war is a state of armed conflict between states governments societies and informal paramilitary groups such as mercenaries insurgents and militia as such a set of rules have been framed to limit the effects of armed conflict which form the body of international humanitarian law or the law of war or in alternative the law of armed conflict the international humanitarian law seeks to protect those who are not taking part in fighting and lays down restrictions on the means of warfare that is on the weapons and the methods of warfare such as military tactics it can be understood that the human rights law applies in peace time and during an armed conflict the international humanitarian law comes into force hence we can see that the human rights international law and international humanitarian law are interrelated with each other and this unique course makes an endeavor to study all the relevant aspects together for a complete understanding of the subjects i am professor gb reddy dean faculty of law 
of Usmania University and the coordinator for this three credits course which has a duration of nine weeks. The course comprises of video lectures by experts in the domain, reading material, the online discussion forum, assignments to test your knowledge and it also provides you with a certification which is invaluable. I invite you to register for this course and embark upon the journey to learn the various aspects of human rights, international law and international humanitarian law and become aware of the legal position and your rights as responsible citizens of this globalized world. I hereby hope that this course would be useful not only to the layman but also those related to the practice and enforcement of human rights and the international humanitarian law. Thank you.